Hey y'all, I am back. Oh, hot days, it's January, you know how it is. I, I just came back here to talk about, you know, something that I learned the hard way. Um, I think for the first time last year, or was awake to it for the first time, to the lesson of it for the first time last year, I think I'd never had to think so hard about it before, so it never came across as a lesson, but um, don't get so caught up in whatever you're being offered, whatever opportunity, whatever job, whatever salary, whatever, anything that you're being offered that you don't evaluate it. Everything that you get offered needs you to go somewhere away from it and evaluate it. Evaluate what value it's adding to your life um, and if the value that it is adding is the kind of value that you're looking for. Evaluate if it is compatible. Evaluate if it is lifting you up. Evaluate if it is um, propelling you forward. Evaluate if it is an equal, it would be an equal yoking of yourself with this thing if you were to come into partnership with this thing, whatever it is that you're being offered. Um, so often we get offered things and we don't take a moment and a good minute to just evaluate what we are being offered and look at what we are looking for versus what the offer is offering us and evaluating if what we want and what the offer is offering us is actually compatible. Um, I remember I was in a situation last year where I was in a job um, that was that I did not evaluate when I was being offered and as a result it didn't work out um, because I didn't take a moment to evaluate the job and think about what I'm looking for um, fundamentally essentially what I'm looking for and what I was being offered and I didn't think about are these are the two compatible um, or is the give and the take worthy is the coming together of this thing that I'm being offered and what I would like to do is it compatible evaluate whatever you're being offered this year going forward evaluate it ask yourself some hard questions and if there's somewhere where the puzzle doesn't fit if there's somewhere where there is an incompatibility that incompatibility over time is only going to get bigger it's, it's going to become a bigger problem as time progresses you cannot overlook the things that do not fit as much as you need to look at the things that fit you cannot look at the things that you cannot overlook the things that do not fit because they magnify with time and anything you come into contact with whatever offer you're coming into contact with is ultimately a partnership and you need to take time to evaluate the partnerships that you are being offered or you're coming into contact with or have managed to to whip up for yourself through whatever means evaluate and ask questions about what is the value that this thing is adding and here's the value that I'm looking for and this thing is wanting to add this value this value that it's, it's saying it, it's wanting to add goes with the value that I'm looking for or it doesn't or it's a different kind of value that I kind of like as well or I didn't think about and I could go with it evaluate evaluate don't just receive whatever it is that you're being offered I remember having a conversation with a lady who used to clean a flat that I used to stay in and um, and she used to clean a number of flats you know um, owned by the same owner and you know she, on the day that she would come on my day we would sit and have long conversations while she was cleaning and I remember she would always come back with stuff people had given her but she had this small room and none of most of the stuff could not fit into her room and she would say but you know so and so from that property gave it to me and so and so from that property gave it to me and I would say to her but do you need it and she said mm, you know and you could tell that like 95% of the stuff she did not need 
but she didn't take a moment to evaluate in receiving what she was being given you know the offer was oh yeah i'm giving you something that i'm not using anymore but she didn't take a moment to evaluate well do i need this broken chair that you're giving me well do i need this toe up suitcase that you're giving me well do i need this tv that's not working that you're giving me well do i you know she was always just being given broken things that didn't quite add value to her life and i i was just like always perplexed because i was like these things don't fit into, into your room, you have nowhere to put them, and they don't add any value to your life because they're broken, you know? And I remember saying to her, well, you need to figure out if you need these things and only accept and receive the things that you need, and the thing that you've been waiting for, that for you set an alarm that this is a miracle that someone would give you this or would say, hey, I'm giving you this dress and you've been wanting a dress. Go with the things that are bringing that kind of value into your life. Um, evaluate whatever is being offered to you because not everything that looks good and is being offered to you is actually good for you. Sometimes even being offered money is not a good thing. You know, it's not good for you. It's not, ex it's not actually bringing value to you if it's taking away too much time from your family. It's taking away too much time from you being able to spend time with God and continue to learn and be in communion with God in a way that you hear Him clearly on a daily basis. Uh, some things are there to offer you money but take away the, the, the quality of your life they offer you a lot of money but they take away quality they offer you a lot of money but they take away a sense of fulfillment they offer you a lot of money but they take away a sense of control of your own time and your own destiny they take they give you a lot of money but they take away a sense of peace from your life so even money is not something that you don't need to think about even when people are offering you money you need to for your services you need to go home you need to go away and take a moment and be still and, and evaluate whatever is being offered is being brought to the table because sometimes it's just a carrot being tang dangled before you and the enemy the devil has learned what it is knows from what you you keep talking about what it is that you want so it's gonna bring up some you know i made a video not too long ago about counterfeit answered prayers so it's gonna give you the thing that looks like your answered prayer but this is where evaluation comes where you take your your discernment and you begin to ask tough questions at this thing that is is saying here's the offer Ta -da! you say well okay thanks for the offer let me go and ask some hard questions at this offer evaluate and if it doesn't make sense if it doesn't fit it if it doesn't make sense for where you are or where you'd like to go or what you need or what you'd like chances are it's not it and so I just wanted to come here and, and, and share that with you that if there's one thing I learned about from last year is that <laughs> evaluate evaluate everything every offer that you're being made evaluate weigh things out and it's not about writing a pros and cons thing it's about evaluating it's about asking questions what value are you adding to me are you adding value to the fact that i need this and i need this and i need this and i need this no you're not adding value to my life you're taking my time you want my time after hours you want my time during the weekends when i'm not supposed to be working and you're not paying me over time you know if you don't know what you're looking for if you cannot define what it is that you're looking for then anything goes if you don't you know if you don't stand for something and you have clearly defined it in a balanced way i'm not talking about people talking about oh, the tall dark handsome man or i just want to be rich and i want to be paid one million from the first job that i get no i'm not talking about unreasonable um expectations i'm talking about things that are balanced expectations that are basics you know and um in evaluating i just think i'm, I'm thinking in, in terms of just relationships how 
evaluating in terms of am I a good fit with this person who says they want to be in a relationship, in a romantic relationship with me? Am I a good fit? What am I looking for in a partner? And that's what evaluating is. It's what am I looking for in a partner? Does this person have what I'm looking for in a partner? I'm looking for someone who believes in Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father. This person is not decided about their spirituality. Red flag. That's evaluation. And that might be part of your evaluation system, your evaluation list. And that's what I mean. Evaluation is about having a list of what you're looking for in a situation because whatever situation it's a partnership you're coming into partnership so a partnership means that you come into partnership having evaluated what you're looking for in that partnership and if those things are there and if certain key things are not there it's only going to magnify over time so not evaluating is not going to help you in the long run so i just want to encourage you to Evaluate everything that comes your way. Even if it's great, take a moment and just evaluate. And put your excitement to the side and just evaluate. Stay blessed and be blessed and I'll see you next time.